Move it or lose it is a wonderful organisation. Firstly, it's based on best scientific evidence that much of what we think is due to ageing is in fact due to the loss of fitness, which starts for many people about 20 on when they get their first sitting job and for almost everybody from about 40 on when the demands of active child rearing diminish. And this happens decade after decade due to the car, the computer and the desk job. Now, I wouldn't want people to have to go back to the life we used to live, but I did see a man digging the road outside my office and he was only moving two thumbs. Well, there's much less work involved than housework now. So we live in a society in which inactivity is the norm. But genetically, we've been programmed to be active. Also, it's very, very important to be active in groups. Because being active in groups gives you increased psychological well-being. And if those groups have a social purpose, it's even further increased. So Move It or Lose It is a wonderful organisation. Perhaps I should say it's a wonderful mission and needs full support. It's a health service and increasingly the NHS is recognising this. And I never thought I'd see the production of a report by the Academy of Medical Royal Colleges called Exercise the Miracle Cure. So activity not only prevents disease, it helps every long-term condition. And much of what we think of as being normal at 60, 70, 80 or 90 is in fact abnormal, the result of an activity. So keep up the good work, move it or lose it. Remember the title? Move it or lose it.